What's going on guys, the Duramax has got a little bit of a worrisome problem going on, but hopefully in today's video we're going to be fixing it. I forgot to get a thumbnail of the Yokohamas, and so I put the 22s on again last night to get a thumbnail, and I noticed something really concerning. So here's what should happen when you have the tire off the ground and you spin it, and here's what should not happen. It only spins about half a turn, and then feels like it catches on something, feels like it hits. Looks to me like it's catching up there at the diff. Right? That's what it looks like to me, which is probably worst case scenario. I was thinking maybe the axle popped out when we put the upper control arms in, which is possible. 99.9% .9 positive it's not the brakes or the hub, so it's either the axle or the diff. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the axle. All I want is the diff to spin free, please and thank you. Holy crap, y'all see that? The diff spinning free. Here's a good look between the 2500 and the 1500 axles. This is the one that came off of Chomper, which this one's actually still in really good shape. But you can just tell, <laughs> this one is toast. I mean, it just hangs. It, no recoil and then this if we like push it you hear that yeah, it's like completely collapsed peel this off I can't believe the bearings are actually still in there and that doesn't feel like it's getting locked up it's definitely totally shot but let's take a peek at this side as well. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. There ain't no way. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. There's your problem. And I'm going to go ahead and go buy our rallies, get some prices on some new axles, new hubs, uh, and get some brake clean. We're going to take Chomp Nasty, so we'll start up. to make their eyes water so for two front axles 257.98 and for two front hub assemblies 519.98 holy crap we ain't doing that garbage so for 80 more dollars we can have kryptonite hubs which last forever or they got warranty forever dude that don't o'reilly's what that don't make sense all right boys check it out we got our new axles in so we've been rocking no axle for a while now, but it's finally time to throw some new ones in there. So let's get back to the farm, check it out. It's actually a pretty easy swap out. All you're gonna need is a 15 mil axle nut socket, hammer, flathead, piece of wood, probably a pry bar. First thing we gotta do is get this cap off. Go ahead and throw your flathead in the rotor, get it pressed up against your brake, grab your cheetah bar, pop this thing loose. It's gonna be a 15 mil for the sway bar end link. We will have to remove this in order to pull this axle out. Pop it up. This will slide out the bottom. And you can just pull this out, keep it all in, in order. We definitely need new ones. These are dry rotted and crusty. All these are gonna be 15 mil, just like the sway bar end link. Go ahead and leave your flat head in the rotors. That way this will not be able to free spin with you. And then you just pull it out, rotate it around as we go. <laughs> Just go ahead and get your block of wood and your hammer. Knock that axle in a little bit so we'll be able to pull it out. 
Now that we've got all the bolts out, we can go ahead and pull this thing out. This right here can definitely get in the way and it can be a little bit tricky. So we'll see how smooth this side comes out. But the other side was a little bit tricky. Oh, this one's gonna slide out, no problem. Absolutely no problem. Once you've popped it with the hammer, you should be able to just slide it out. Now we can go ahead and slip our new axle in. Sorry if the AC is noisy, as y'all know, it's like a million degrees right now, so. That joint's running wide open. Upstairs at least. Just gently wiggle that so you feel the teeth slide together. And then, there she is. Make sure the circle, you know, slides in and start throwing bolts in. Throw our screwdriver back in there and I'll throw the torque specs up on screen for you. Take your new axle nut, tighten that baby down. It's one of those times where you have like a little mini heart attack when the tool slips off or something, and you're like, dude, I just, I just about died. You didn't, of course, at all, but sometimes you almost do. But yeah. I'll have the torque specs on screen for this as well. Sway bar and link back on here. You might have to finagle it depending on how like flexed your truck is. Might be a little tight, but job is officially complete. I'm going to throw the wheels and tires back on, double check all of our bolts, get this thing outside. I think me and Knox are going to do a fishing video soon. Mr. Turtle. So I've been stopping at some of these little bridges and checking out the creeks. I see a pretty nice, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There was a nice little, little brim floating right there somewhere. I see several little ones out there. Big old turtle. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, oh boy. Oh, look at that freaking monster. Gosh, that's a big old red-eared slider right there. Oh yeah, I see tons of bull brim. Oh yeah, boy. We definitely coming back and fishing here, for sure. There's several other bridges local to me that are uh, very similar to this. I think will be freaking sick for a video. Little, little fishing vlog, little vloggy vlog. But it is very nice to have the LBZ back being four-wheel drive. Not that I use it all that much, but just in case, you gotta have them axles in, boy. So, two freshies. That one was toast on the passenger. Obviously, the one we pulled out on video was not in that bad of shape. One of the boots was busted, so it, um, it was slinging grease, and it has been for who knows how long. So, might as well go ahead and replace both while we're doing it. And now we got two fresh front axles. And hopefully they last. I know the truck is like, you know, she's cranked, boy. She's cranked. We got this thing sitting pretty freaking high. I'm going to quit rambling. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. Definitely comment down below and let me know if you'd like to see a fishing vlog with me and Knox. I think I'm going to do it whether y'all say to or not. But either way, uh, hopefully y'all did enjoy. Comment down below. Let me know. I'll see y'all in the next one.
Bro, that was awesome. Nailed it.